Now this customer sent me through these photographs. He's got a, a low pitched roof here with a flat roof at the back, which we'll, we'll see in a second. He sent me through loads of different videos, which, you, which you're looking at now, and he's got some real problems. So let's see if we can go through them. This is him looking out the window above down onto this roof. Let's just stop this for a moment. Now look, the, the pitch on this with these tiles is not good enough. So he's got problems there and there's not a lot you can really do. Um, if they've put the sarking felt in underneath it, correctly and sealed up against these he may get away with it it's the driving rain that will drive up underneath these tiles which is going to cause a problem uh, is that a flat roof done uh, this is all relatively new work um, the if we start looking at what's going on around here with the flat roof i mean it's all in glass fiber it's the way that it butts onto this there's, there's there is here i mean why have we got nail holes or something someone's drilled holes into the tiles here so none of this is looking particularly good up here and again driving rain with rain getting up underneath here with capillary action is the main problem with this but it's internally which uh, is the problem now let's go and have a look at that so internally he's got this problem with sealing this particular roof which is the cold roof and ventilating it to the um to the let's go and see it here to the yeah here we go to the cold to the warm roof which is up here and he said to me he's done the warm roof correctly but he hasn't if you look what's gone on here he's done the warm roof but he's put the vapor barrier on the inside i've never seen anybody try and do this before yeah his attention to detail look at the way he's wrapped around all the joists and he's put a, a, a good tar based vapor barrier the on the wrong side i.e so now all these timbers theoretically which are, are in underneath this are external uh, even your decking is external it's not the correct way of doing it but it's a pretty good attempt at, at trying to do a warm roof um, just how it's going to work i don't know and of course what he's done here is that you can see that it, where this in, it goes across here is try to plug up the ends of all of these so that you don't get movement of air coming backward and forward so venting the top of the um pitched roof is going to be his next problem let's go back and have a look at that see if you look at what he's doing here at all down here he's going to have to introduce venting that is going to come up and it's going to have to come out at the top and and if you look i mean it's a lovely detail on the way i'll show you that in a second the way that he's put the he's attention to detail you, you can't fault the way that he's put the insulation in around here um, is nice the the way he's put this in I've never seen it done like that before but he's done it's really great but just look at the problem he's going to have he's got to have ventilation 50 mil running through ventilation running above this well yeah if he keeps the insulation down below and sorry keeps the yeah keeps the insulation down below and vents it you can't get past this point here so there's no way that he can have what we call cross ventilation or through ventilation at, at this stage and, and here lays a big problem so not only has he um, got a low pitched roof but he's also got a prop a, a low pitched cold um, roof that is he can't vent it correctly now we're going to talk about that in a second and, and my thoughts on it the way that the cables have been brought through here and tied too tightly to the top is is a problem you should never bring the, t the, the the cables through so high if someone's working on nailing through anything above this um there could be a problem so that's a, a real no-no to have those cables so high but again let's just move forward uh, on this and just see other things which are going on the still is internal which is good because it's going to be on the warm side um if he brings his insulation across like this one here across and over the top and joins it to this one on the other side then the still is inside but it's unfortunately no through ventilation there no through ventilation there he could gain through ventilation there but how is he going to vent that from the outside if we go outside and have a look at what's going on outside he's going to have to put some kind of ventilation at, on the tiles at this point to be able to get ventilation from down here right the way across to up here um, and he's not going to be able to achieve the ventilation there and there. So uh, again, I'll come, I'll come back to that uh, when, I, when we go a little bit further. Now look at this, the attention to detail with the gapo tape putting all this insulation and he's also foaming as well. Look at what he's done here. He's actually put, a, 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 and I covered this on another one of my videos, um, 
saying you just you can't do it in the respect of when I say you can't do it this guy's done it and he's done a fantastic job to to make this airtight and air tightness is what it's all about so he's used a, a, a preformed plastic liner for a spotlight he's he's sourced his spotlights so that he knows that they will go in this and he's got the clearance around them he's cut into his insulation this box and uh, brought the cables through now what he's talking about doing is that he's even got this uh, you'll see it in a second it'll come on screen this blue thing in his hand there he goes and that blue thing is uh, a grommet that will go there so that even the cables coming through has got a grommet on it so these are going to be absolutely airtight and if you look at what he's done with the gapo tape around the outside he's really making the whole scenario airtight which is you know which is superb so he will be able to to get it as airtight as you can looking at how well he's doing this from from the bottom on this air, uh, on this cold pitched roof the problem he's going to have is his ventilation across the top so let's just go and have a look at a few other things of what he's trying to show us here uh, i was just showing us the back here of how he's he's stopped air movement through that particular part and i've got to show you this, this is fantastic this is a bit of insulation that he's got on the floor and he's got his workman here um, he's they've cut out the the light fitting box and they're now going around and they're foaming it all in around the outside which is fantastic i mean this is this is going to be superbly uh, airtight they're then going to cut insulation uh, uh, from this particular slab here so that they can fit it over the top of that and i've got another little bit i can show you look so you know this is attention to detail but the cost of doing all of this if they'd have designed it correctly in the first place they wouldn't have had to have done this and of course now using expensive materials so you've got some thermal element going in over the top of this as well very thin it's only that's only like 15 mil of insulation over the top um, but of course he's made that as airtight as you can over the top of that so let's go back and have a look at um, what the, the, how you can get out of jail free here I mean there's no way that you're going to do this properly however attention to detail on of air tightness to stop air from this room getting up into the cavities above this cold roof is what it's all about now a lot of people talk about drilling holes through the joists I, I, I'm not a believer on that I showed it in a video once that a customer had done and I said don't do it it's something that you shouldn't do even though he had done it but everybody thinks that I'm saying you should do it no you shouldn't do it you, you you're going to undermine the strengths of your your um, joists and if you are going to do it you should consult your um, structural engineer uh, if you're going to drill holes and basically that what you're trying to do by drilling holes in this one this one and this one is promote air movement across and around and it's just not going to be good enough so personally I wouldn't do it but my thought process on this is this is that if you've got good air movement on all of these ones mother nature another mother nature does not like uh, a vacuum and theoretically good air movement up and down through these ones would mean that theoretically you are going to have very low humidity in these two if you gained humidity in these ones which aren't vented it's going to migrate through and clear anyhow and these are only small areas personally I, it's not a concern I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a concern um, you've got no other choice here whatsoever but ultimately what he's gonna have to do on this is that he's gonna have to let's get back to the beginning here he's gonna have to strip the roof anyhow um, and do something about these these low pitched tiles on here um, and realistically he can cross batten and then underneath it he can use a system which there's plenty of systems on the market now which will turn this into uh, a, a, a will put a waterproof membrane underneath the tiles and then you can put the tiles on top so you're not relying on the tiles for the waterproofing you're relying on this system that's underneath it which is waterproof and at the same time he can add more ventilation from the outside yes it is going to raise the roof yes it is going to be a problem when he gets to the flat roof at the top um, and 
it's some he's going to have to do something if this fails as it is now so hopefully this has been um, helpful anybody out there please always get back to me you know i love getting this i did talk to this gentleman and say to him do you mind sending me over because he sent me a few uh, videos which were not particularly that great and he's gone to the um, lengths of sending all of this through um, so hopefully this is going to be helpful for him it's going to be helpful for other people and if anybody else wants to send me over videos for me to have a look at and to try and help you with it because it's always helpful for other people as well please do so speak soon